plot. Okay, <clears throat> this is our last example, example 3.5. In this case, the signal is defined as this value 1 for mod of t less than t1, that means t plus or t minus less than t1, which has been plotted here. You can see the value is 1 for t minus and for t plus and the range is capital T1 and capital T minus 1 and at all other places that is from T1 to T over 2 minus or T over 2 plus again it has been shown by mod the value is 0 so this is defining one cycle uh, one time period one, one cycle or one time period of a periodic signal. And now we have to determine the Fourier series coefficients for this. So this is the time period T. The signal is periodic with a fundamental period of T and the fundamental fundamental frequency omega naught is 2 pi over t. So this we know all periodic signals uh, omega naught is 2 pi over t. Now we learned that there are two approaches to find a k. One was that we write in the form of a summation and then we take the coefficient a k and the other is that we take the integral form the last two problems we followed this technique but here it is not uh, easy to f find this or use this formula so we'll use the integration method to find a k okay so a k is 1 over t integral t x t e minus j k omega not t dt and now what is t time period okay <clears throat> so we are using this formula to determine the uh, coefficient and this is the complete uh, picture of the uh, periodic function the time period is from t over 2 minus to t over 2 plus so this is the limit that we'll select and the magnitude is 1. Now for k is equal to 0, so if you put k is equal to 0, this term becomes 1. So it is only integral of xt. So integral of xt is 1, therefore our integral becomes integral of 1 dt from these two time limits. Now if you look at the picture carefully, there is no signal between minus t over 2 to minus t1. Similarly, no signal between t1 and plus t over 2. So we can only set our limit from minus t1 to plus t1 because the signal is present here. So we modify the integral, minus t1 to plus t1, and then we integrate, so it becomes t. These are the two limits, and we put the two limits, that is t1 minus minus t1. So minus minus becomes plus, so it will become 2t1, and divided by this t. So this is the value at a is equal to 0. Now let's see when k is not 0, so when k is not 0, uh, in this equation we just put xt is equal to 1, so this is the integral now we have, and we again adjust the uh, limit to minus t1 to t1, because there is no signal present on the two sides, and now we take the integral. So 1 over jk omega naught t e raised to the power minus jk omega naught t and the two limits minus t1 and 
t1. So putting the values of the two limits, this becomes now e j k omega t1 minus e minus j k omega naught minus t1. And if you open or if you just take the sine minus sine inside, so this becomes minus and this becomes plus and these two minus minus plus so this becomes positive and this remains negative and further we can manipulate we can bring the positive term first and the negative so this is the next step and to put it into the formula of sine uh, we divide it by we bring this j inside so this j comes here and we divide by 2 and multiply by 2 so 2 2 will get cancelled automatically okay so this formula is now uh, for sine formula so we'll see in the next okay so we got uh, this value of a k now we'll use this formula for sine to convert it into sinusoidal form so our a k now becomes 2 divided by k omega t sin k omega naught t1 now we know that omega is 2 pi over t therefore omega naught 